area of composite shapes. So what is a composite shape? Well, that's just two or more shapes joined together. And how do we find the area of them? So let's have a look at this shape here. This shape here is actually a trapezium, but we can break it up into shapes we already know how to find the area of. So if we cut it up here, we've now just got a rectangle over here and a triangle up here. We can find the area of each one of those and add it together. To do that, we just need a bit of extra length. So the blue dotted line is also 8 centimetres because it matches up with the bottom one. And if this is 11 centimetres and this is 9 centimetres, subtracting those gives us this remaining area up here. So 11 minus 9 is 2. So we know this height from here to here is 2 because the height from here to here is also 9, and 9 and 2 make 11. So our area of this shape is going to be the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle. The area of the rectangle is length times breadth, and the area of a triangle is half times the base times the height. So for our rectangle, it's an 8 by 9 rectangle, and a half is a half. The base of the triangle is 8, and the height of the triangle is 2, and now we just have to put all this together. So 8 times 9 is 72, plus a half times, or 8 times 2 is 16, 72 plus a half times 16 is 8, and 72 plus 8 is 80 centimetres squared. Just make sure you don't forget your unit squared when you're finding your area. Let's have a look at one more shape. Let's have a look at this cross type shape where all the lengths are the same. They're all two centimeters. So for this, we can break up this shape into five smaller shapes. And every single one of those is exactly the same. They're just five squares that are all two by two centimeters. So here, we can find the area of one of the squares by just doing the side itself squared, which is going to give us four centimeters squared. And we know there's one, two, three, four, five of them. So we just multiply all of that by five and our total area is going to be 20 centimeters squared. Most of the time, there's more than one way to do it. We could have done this big rectangle plus two squares. We could have done this big rectangle plus two squares. We could have even found the area of this big square minus the four gaps as well.